so hello everyone uh, myself shwetha uh, mondol i am from uh, department of electronics and uh, telecommunication engineering national university of engineering and uh, technology so to today i will be uh, demonstrating the paper entitled as advanced switching sequences for a multi phase neutral dcd c bus converter using gms 320f 2885 controller so without uh, further wasting time let's uh, dive into the presentation so uh, first of all i will uh, demonstrate the agenda of our presentation so our agenda will be first of all i will introduce uh, introduce the paper part and introduction part uh, i will go, go through the certain uh, literature i will review uh, some literature and after that i will show uh, the key contribution of this paper uh, and then i will uh, show the proposed modulation technique actually this is the switching sequences and uh, i will show how how we have uh, Compared to generate the modulation technique, and based on the modulation technique, how we, how we have generated the gate pulses, and uh, as well as we will uh, do some uh, quantum strategy, and uh, for other more we will uh, uh, derive the performance uh, of the of, of this multi-phase interleaved uh, push converter uh, using MATLAB simulation, and uh, then I will go through the uh, uh, experimental validation part, and uh, lastly I will uh, conclude the paper with some complete analysis. Uh, so first of all, let me go through the introduction part. Uh, so uh, actually, uh, let me introduce the IBC or interleaved boost converter. So in in certain application, we could use the uh, DC DC boost converter and uh, the advanced version of DC DC boost converter, uh, where there is uh, there, there uses multiple phases, is known as interleaved boost converter. So uh, the scope of interleaved boost converter has uh, recently drawn uh, many attention because uh, this interleaved boost converter. Uh, the current output of this interleaved boost converter is uh, actually uh, renewable free or quite less renewable and uh, to provide our higher voltage as well because this is a DDC boost converter and higher efficiency uh, in interleaved boost converter we could get easily uh, very, very much higher efficiency and if we increase the number of level uh, of fa fa phases uh, we could easily uh, mitigate the output renewable current. <coughs> so now let's talk about some uh, literature based on interleaved DDC boost converter. Uh, so uh, in uh, in, uh, in uh, literature nine, uh, reference to nine, uh, a simple pulse wave modulation or uh, PWM technique is used for DC DC boost converter. And uh, another uh, literature uh, uh, in uh, reference ten uh, uses uh, MS PWM. Uh, this is actually modified pulse wave mod mod modulation. Uh, but uh, all these tools uh, comes with some uh, some draw drawback. Uh, like uh, fa fa fast one is not very efficient, and the second one. Uh, suffers from uh, output renewable current instead of having uh, interleaved uh, DCC boost converter system. Uh, so uh, now let me go through the key contribution of this uh, paper. So uh, in the left side you can see the circuit construction of uh, the interleaved boost converter. Actually, this is a, a common uh, circuit for interleaved boost converter. And uh, we actually in this paper we have presented uh, from phase one uh, to phase five uh, in interleaved boost, boost converter system. And uh, uh, actually, uh, we have proposed a new modulation technique, and based on the modulation technique, the switching sequence is generated, and uh, the uh, ripple current is also uh, deducted. Uh, and this found around 0.08%. I will uh, show some comparison uh, in, in my last se uh, selection. And we have gained high efficiency and uh, reduction of uh, switching losses as well, and a simple control strategy uh, to uh, validate our proposed claim. So. Uh, in, uh, in in figure two, uh, we would see uh, a, a, a gate pulse uh, generation procedure. Uh, we have considered five phase interleaved boost converter, and uh, in, in uh, figure A, uh, we would see the five uh, gate signal uh, or uh, or five uh, uh, mod mod modulation signal. This modulation signal is compared to a uh, high frequency triangular wave, and uh, based on that, we could easily uh, get the uh, gate pulse uh, of the uh, power switches, the power. Uh, here we have used uh, IGBTs for better switching. I will discuss more uh, on uh, on the uh, uh, practical validation part. And here you can see this is actually uh, the generation procedure of the proposed modulation technique. So this is actually a, 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 a GYR graphical user interface based uh, representation in a mathematical model. We have uh, actually considered a, a sine wave, and uh, this sine wave uh, is uh, is the phase shift, and we could easily calculate the phase shift. Uh, uh, this equation two, and uh, then after uh, this uh, signal is uh, getting uh, added with a constant, and then it is uh, saturated via some uh, certain conditions. 
are showing uh, equation 6 and uh, uh, finally a uh, uh, harmonic component is added in this signal uh, to generate uh, this uh, gate pulses and modulation technique and finally to easily get the, uh, uh, the final uh, output or the final phase angles and the final uh, equation for our uh, modulation uh, technique. So, uh, and uh, in, in, in proposed modulation technique we have actually used a simple PI based controller to uh, uh, validate that our uh, our internally boost properties uh, can be of uh, closed loop uh, system. So here you can see in figure 7, you can easily see uh, the, uh, here the blue line shows uh, the reference uh, voltage and uh, the red one shows uh, the uh, in, in, uh, instant and continuous uh, voltage, uh, output voltage uh, of the uh, inverter, uh, DC DC converter. And uh, in power performance analysis selection, uh, we would see uh, the five inductor current. Actually, uh, if, if, uh, if you uh, look closely, this five inductor current is phase shift uh, shifted. Uh, as uh, we have uh, used the phase shifting in the equation, based on that, the inductor current is also get getting phase shifted. As a result, we could easily uh, mitigate the output uh, ripple in current. So, as you can see, these are uh, some for comparative analysis in left side. Uh, here you can see this is the uh, 10, uh, the reference 9, refer uh, single TP, this is boost point control of reference 9 and the output ripple found 0.2 to 7 percent where uh, for a single uh, this is a boost point control is utilizing uh, 9, reference 9 is PVW sequence um, and they, they could get 0 0.27 percent ripple factor and uh, our based on our modulation technique could easily get 0 0.10 percent uh, uh, output uh, uh, ripple factor in current and uh, if we uh, increase the number of phases or the number of uh, le level of this DVC we could easily get 0.08 percent of uh, uh, ripple in output current. Uh, so <coughs> let's, uh, let's uh, talk about the simulation uh, parameter and the experimental parameter. These parameters are very self explanatory. I will not deeper uh, dive deep into this these things and uh, uh, full uh, prototype, uh, lab based prototype is uh, uh, constructed in, in, in our own uh, uh, power electronics lab and uh, the result of that our input DP voltage was 10 volt and uh, our output voltage was uh, 60 volt in the simulation in, as well as in practical uh, level you can see we, we got 57.7 volt and other parameters are given here so I will not uh, keep uh, right into that so let's talk more about the experimental validation. So here you can see a photograph of our test clip or test circuit. Uh, in, in, this, uh, in this picture, we could see the whole uh, uh, setup actually. And uh, in, in this uh, picture, we can see the uh, uh, five-phase interlink boost converter, uh, DCC boost converter, and this is our main uh, control part, which is responsible for generating the gate pulses in hardware. And actually, we have used IGPTs for better switching, as you know. Uh, IGPT requires a certain voltage for their gate to be uh, driven, and uh, we have uh, uh, constructed our own uh, gate drivers for these IGPTs to work properly. And uh, for from the control card, the signal is transferred to the gate driver, and the gate driver is driving the IGPTs with the proposed modulation technique or proposed switching uh, series, uh, series sequences. And these are the uh, normal as usual well, reference power supply and so on. So let's uh, talk about the experimental validation graph. Uh, here you can see uh, in uh, figure 9, uh, you will see uh, the first one is the output current and the second one is the output voltage. Uh, from, uh, from this uh, voltage graph, we, we, we have calculated the uh, ripple factor in hardware as well. And in figure B, we, you could see the output voltage and the inductor current, actually 5 inductor current. Uh, this was our 4 channel oscilloscope, so I have considered 3 of the inductor current. And uh, uh, this is a pretty, pretty much clear that uh, the inductor current are uh, phase shifted. So uh, as the inductor current are phase shifted, in output voltage, output voltage ripple as well as current ripple, uh, the ripple gets uh, eliminated quite a bit. So uh, the, these are the our experimental uh, validation. And uh, let's uh, talk about some uh, competitive analysis. Uh, actually, uh, in our day-to-day uh, -day scenario or in most uh, literature, we found uh, PWM based uh, DC-DC boost converter. So uh, the, this is a PWM based DC-DC boost converter, and another one is a MSP PWM, which is known as uh, modified uh, uh, sinusoidal uh, pulse width modulation signal. We have uh, com compared these two with our own proposed modulation technique. So uh, here you can see uh, in si single phase uh, we, we could easily uh, uh, get the uh, real really uh, outperform value uh, in terms of uh, output. Uh, and uh, in uh, so, so uh, here uh, this you can see in uh, phase 5 or phase 6 we could easily uh, uh, overtake it as this uh, PWM and MSP PWM values. 
So uh, now let me uh, conclude this uh, paper. So basically, uh, in in our real application or in our daily application, what that is needed uh, a sensitive DC uh, DC power current version or uh, or some sensitive circuit. This type of uh, multi phase or internally boost converter is very essential, and uh, we can easily uh, con con conclude that our uh, uh, our uh, proposed modulation technique actually uh, outperforms the conventional uh, uh, pulse wave modulation technique and. Uh, uh, MSPVWM and uh, if you talk about the further research direction and uh, we could easily uh, integrate more uh, complex control strategy because I have already mentioned that I have used a simple PI controller and uh, further uh, analysis uh, based on uh, number of phases could be increased and uh, so on. So that's all from my side. Uh, thank you everyone.